Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another Jags United video film breakdown. If you haven't yet followed us on Twitter, we're at Jaguars United. You can follow us on Instagram, we're at Jaguars United underscore. You can also check out our website, jagsunited.com. You can check out our articles, our videos, things like that. I've got some apparel coming soon and a message board. So make sure to be looking for all that. It's going to be a great time. Um, you can check out our YouTube channel for all of our previous film breakdowns we've done a lot of the draft picks so far and today we are doing cj henderson and i'm super excited because cj henderson is an athlete and a speed guy and a guy who plays the ball well in the air and so many other things that we're going to jump into when we look at the film today so without further ado let's jump right into it all right so cj henderson as we know was drafted in the first round by the jags he's 6 1 204 big strong fast defensive back but you can find big fast strong defensive backs all throughout the draft but what makes cj henderson special is the smoothness of his hips and his ability to anticipate and read the play before it happens and when i say smoothness of hips what i mean by that is a defensive back has to be able to go from facing the line of scrimmage to back to the line of scrimmage and then back to facing the line of scrimmage all within one play, right? So he's got to be able to flip his hips and turn, uh, do half turns, back pedal, read steps, things like that. Um, if he's planning man, it's even more important him to be able to swivel his hips different directions. And um, that's something that's very natural. And you don't see defensive backs that can do it as smooth or as natural as he does. You think of a guy like uh, Christian Fulton that was played for LSU, very big physical defensive back, but he lacked the smoothness in his read steps and his back pedal and his hips to really catapult himself into the first round. And CJ Henderson's natural ability to play defensive back um, is what made him drafted so high. You, you heard reports come out afterwards that the reason why he was drafted by the Jags so high was that so many other teams wanted him there. Um, and that some people even had him higher on their draft boards than Jeff Okuda. But the Jags were definitely in a huge need for defensive back. So uh, they, they, they definitely drafted a guy that's going to start day one. Um, but let's jump right into the film. Um, look, the guy was the first team all SEC last year. His best film was actually 2018. He looked like a beast 2018. I mean, he probably would have been drafted over Okuda if he would have had a repeat of 2019 that he did in 18. Um, but he can do it all, man. And um, here we'll see his eye discipline, his closing speed, and things like that. So this is CJ Henderson down here at the bottom of the screen. He's going to be covered up. He's going to be covering Jamari Chase. Very fast, athletic wide receiver for LSU. Um, it looks like they're in a cover two shell, but it looks like that on this side of the field, they're kind of locked up a one-on-one -on -one here. Um, at the snap, we're going to see CJ do a zone turn, right? So he's turning, facing the line of scrimmage. This tells us that he's in a zone turn. This is honestly a tad high here, but the thing is, is that I think he plays a little high because he knows in some situations that he has the athleticism to make up for it. That won't always happen in the NFL. I'm not naive, but I think he can be coached to stay lower a little bit and um, make make a play on and be able to play you know faster receivers. Okay, so you know, ten yards in the line of scrimmage, we see um, you can't see here because my my camera thing's here, but he's gonna pretty much be stride for stride for him. And when the ball's in the air, thanks to this hand, I'm assuming this is probably an LSU fan. Um, T.J. Henderson makes a great play on the ball, and he's gonna make a pass break up here. Now, what makes this play so good is not just the fact that he defers LSU from scoring a touchdown. Like, obviously, that's a big deal. But the bigger deal is that he does it without getting called for pass interference. And nowadays, it's so hard. A defensive back's best skill set can be what we call staying on the hip without grabbing. So, see, he's going to do a little bit of a grab here. But in the NFL, they let you get away with this, right? So, he's going to be in staying right on his hip. That's what you want. As a DB is coached, if you can touch the receiver, then you have the right to look back at the ball. And that's exactly what he's doing here. He's he has his hand on the receiver. He's looking back on the ball. Look, he's playing the ball all the way. He has no need to play the eyes or play the hands here. This is what eye discipline, and the speed allows him to do it. Makes a great play on the ball. Never really does passing interference. Great pass breakup to a great play. I mean, this is Joe Burrow, the number one pick in the draft throwing the ball. This isn't a, a slappy um, quarterback making this throw. Okay, this next one I like is against Miami. This is going to be another pass breakup here. And I like this because this kind of shows us his anticipation, his ability to read routes before they happen, which you absolutely have to have at the next level. CJ Henderson is going to be here. Um, it looks like, again, they're in their same too high, but they're going to kind of let these corners man up on the outside here to allow the safeties to play the middle of the field, which is pretty typical in the red zone. And we're going to see C.J. Henderson's here at the bottom. We're going to get a better view of this in a second. But look, he's still in backpedal. Um, he's playing at the line of scrimmage the same way both these DBs are here. 
Um, he's going to catch the receiver's route, cut him off, and then make a play on the ball. Now, what, why I like this play so much, and I've heard people argue on this play that the ball should have been caught and that should have been a touchdown. But this was an actual, this was an absolutely perfect execution, throw, everything done by Miami. And the little bit in the anticipation that Henderson does is what stops us from being a touchdown. We have Henderson here. Some, look, nice and low. That's what we like here. Nice and low in his back pedal. Gives him a little, look, you see that? Look, he gives him a little Poco move, right? Uh, he's going to, Ford's going to give him a little move like he's going to the inside. Henderson knows he's got help right here. So he knows that he can pretty much catch the receiver playing his outside hip. He's going to cut off his corner route. This is going to cause, I mean, look, if he doesn't cut off this corner route, this is still a terrible throw. But because he cut off the corner route, this throw is actually going to end up being perfect. Almost makes a good catch here, but look at the position here by C.J. Henderson. This is a DB who doesn't know the route. He's reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way. The next angle will really show us his eye discipline and his anticipation here. This is a great angle, man. I love these pylon views. Thank you for the ref cam ESPN. So backpedaling, backpedaling, cuts off the route, drives off his back foot, makes a play on the ball, gets his hands inside the hands of the receiver. That's a pro coverage move right there. You won't see that happen. Um at all very much in the college level all right this next play is going to be against kentucky all right and um here we're going to see cj henderson again at the top of your screen now i'm i'm going to try to guess the coverage here so some sort of cover three uh just because they got one guy in the middle of the field um kentucky was in a tight formation here with guys pretty tight in the line of scrimmage so the cover three is going to look a little wonky like it is here um but i like that about this place because this shows us henderson's ability to accelerate on the ball so i'm just gonna let this kind of play out here great interception right there um kind of a bad throw but at the same time he puts him himself in a great position to make a play on this ball back pedal back pedal he you know never has to turn his back never has to get into um chase mode to chase the hip his back pedal is so smooth that's what we talk about with the smoothness of his back pedal and his hips he's so smooth he can stay in position to make a play on the receiver the entire play um not to mention the, the great ball skills of catching the ball in the air and make, going down to the ground to get the ball. Um, just overall a great play. Um, jumps the route, gets there, and that's pretty much what you want to see. Now, a lot of these plays are starting like halfway through the play, but um, look, it's college football film. It's not the NFL. We don't get as much privilege to the whole film as we do in the NFL when we're reviewing the Jags films. Um, but sometimes in life, you just got to work with what you have um, and just do the best you can. And that's a life lesson for some of you guys out there. So Henderson's here again. This looks like an, another one high type of look here. Um, he's going to pretty much be manned up with this outside receiver. And I really, really like this play because this play really shows his athleticism. From this view here, it's going to look like a standard pass breakup, maybe a tad underthrown. But from this angle, we really, really see his skill set. So with his back turned to the boundary like this, um, this is what we call just your, your man pre-snap formation or zone i'm sorry zone pre-snap formation he's gonna be playing zone so there's nothing's gonna happen outside of him so he can pretty much keep his back to the boundary he has a little bit of help here i believe he had a, a safety a little bit of help on the inside so the quick in breaking route he doesn't have to worry about so pretty much all he has to worry about in this situation is a vertical a deep post or a curl or come back and out like right so the things that are just for him to worry about so look, we see here, look how he plays this. He's playing mirror from, from like the, the side turn position here. As soon as 84 speeds up, look at how fast Henderson speeds up. Not from this angle. The next angle is, is where you really see it. Watch the speed burst right there. I mean, he just, what a, I mean, that's a jump. That's any receiver should have, if they have a DB in, the, in any level, high school, college, pro, if you have a receiver here, it should be game over. The throw should be inside to the inside shoulder. It should be easy, nice, and catch. Maybe he makes a tackle with the catch, but it should be nice and easy there. Nope, not on Hendo. Hendo jumps the route underneath it. So much speed. Uses the offhand to make a play on the ball. Like If that had been a good throw, if that throw had been where it was supposed to be, Henderson is picking this ball. Look at this. He uses the back hand to make the play. I mean, that's athleticism at its best right there. All right, this is the next play. <laughs> Speaking of athleticism, and again, I'm going to pound home how athletic he is. Very athletic guy. Like people, like they want to they want to say that he's some sort of like corner savant, right? Like you know, I think of a guy like uh, Vernon Hargraves when he came out or, you know, a guy like that who was just, you know, known for his DB skills. 
CJ Henderson is more of like a Jalen Ramsey, and I and I don't say that lightly. Um, he's super athletic. He uses his athleticism, his strength, and his size to make plays on the ball. So this next play against Kentucky is going to really, really show us his athleticism. Kentucky's going to do a standard run play here. It's inside zone, hits the B gap, takes two Gator defenders, defenders with him. CJ Henderson accelerates, makes the tackle. Now I know what you're thinking. It's Kentucky. Um, that's not a great running team. Who, who cares? It's Kentucky. It's no comparison to the NFL. Actually, this is Benny Snell, who plays for the Steelers, and he was the SEC's leading rusher in 2017. So this isn't just some like run-of-the-mill running back in the SEC who Henderson chased down. This is an NFL guy. He's going to get through the gap. Look, Henderson is still engaged when he's at the same yard line as him. They're both at the 30. He's still being, I would say, held by the wide receiver. Henderson breaks it off the DB, and then now he's at a disadvantage. He's at a stop. He's at a full speed. Who do you think wins? Henderson. He's way faster. And he tries to swipe at the ball at the end. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, let's just watch Let's just watch this again and admire the speed here. And then his, the heads-up play there. All right, I'm going to get the ball. You're going to put the ball in the, out, in the inside shoulder and the inside hand. I'm going to try to punch the ball out and get a fumble. That's great awareness by Henderson. That's what you want out of uh, defensive back and run support. He gets a lot of slack for not being able to tackle, but... Um, we'll see a couple situations where he, you know, can tackle, and this is gonna actually going to be one of them. So one thing that I think that does not get talked about enough with C.J. Henderson is his ability to blitz. Now, he is what's called a boundary corner, meaning that he's only going to play on the outside, which is what you want when you draft a corner. But if we're creative and we can get this guy into the slot or we can get him to the boundary, right, see the ball here on the hash, that means the closest boundary corner is actually pretty close to the quarterback. If you can catch him in this situation – he is a very, very good blitzer. I think he had like five sacks in his career. I mean, that's a lot for an outside corner. And look, he comes. He's going to come in here, shed a block here, shed a block here. Oh, I mean, this looks like <laughs> looks like Kalevon Chase on coming off the edge with a bend. Hits, gets the ball free, forces a fumble. I mean, look, I mean, that's a 200-pound guy making a move right there. Uh, that's getting two guys off of him. Um, Bring the guy off the edge. I mean, I think there's another sack in here coming up. Um, yeah, there's one more, but the dude had sacks left and right. I'm going through his film and Grantham, Todd Grantham, uh, the Gators defensive coordinator, who, by the way, has call, who called him the best defensive back he's ever coached. And Todd Grantham is a very um, seasoned coach, not just some first-year guy. All right, here's where we're going to see another um, more of his aggression, right? Uh, the big knock on C.J. Henderson is that he can't tackle. He's not aggressive, which um, I, I think is low-hanging fruit, and people want to find – a reason to hate the fact that he went to Florida and that he that the Jaguars drafted a Florida player. Look, you, you're not drafting the school. You're drafting the player. And I don't understand why people can't get that. Uh, things happen all the time. I mean, if that would have happened, if we never drafted anyone from Florida, then we never drafted Fred Taylor, who ended up being the best running back the Jaguars have ever had, arguably. Can't, can't worry about the school. Here we're going to see Henderson again. Look, ball middle of the field. It's going to blitz from the edge. The guy's in the slot. It's going to give Hendo a little bit of advantage here. He does a great job disguising these blitzes. I mean, does he look like he's blitzing here? I mean, yeah, I guess he, I guess if you really look at him, then you could tell he may be blitzing here with this forward foot. But look, every DB in the Gator secondary is in that same stance, right? So, you know, good job here. He's going to come in off the edge, unblocked, makes a great tackle. You know, stands over the quarterback, stares him down. All stuff you like to see from a defensive back. Am I right? All right, here we're going to see another blitz here. It doesn't quite get to the quarterback. But takes on a block from the running back. Doesn't really take it on. Just kind of gets around it. And he's going to make a pressure on the quarterback. Look, Grantham brought some heat here. Look, he's going to drop one of the linebackers into coverage. He's going to drop this linebacker into a little flat zone. And he's going to bring Henderson on a blitz from the corner. The running back has no idea how to handle it. And Henderson gets into it for a pressure, which leads to an incompletion. Look, those are... Those are big things. Like, if you draw that up on a third and four, like Mississippi State did here, if the Jags draw up a third down play and that gets them off the field, uh, let's go, man. I mean, how many times did the Jags not get off the field? I mean, I cannot stress that enough um, for how that happened. All right, this is the last play we're going to look at. And, again, it's just going to look at Henderson's ability to play through traffic and make a tackle because so many people said that was his weakness. But we're going to see here LSU is going to run a little jet sweep. Um, it's actually blocked – it's actually blocked pretty well, I would think. I mean, he's out here in space. He's out here in space. But then Henderson's going to come in, you know, fight through traffic. Window dressing does nothing for him, and he's going to make a tackle on the ball carrier. And that's an aggressive tackle. I mean, people say he doesn't want to tackle, but he'll stick his head in there. I, I would argue 2019 was more of just a – he didn't really want to tackle. I mean, he knew he was going to be a first-round pick. He knew he was going to be a top-20 pick in the NFL. Um, it's more of a business decision, and – 
Uh, we've had debates on our shows over and over again if that makes you lose respect for a guy if he doesn't really play that hard in like bowl games or things like that. But uh, to me, it doesn't really matter. So I'm super excited about this Henderson pick. Um, I think the athleticism, the mirror skills, the anticipation skills, a very patient, very poised player. Um, you want a DB that looks like the game is moving in slow motion to him, and that's what it kind of looks like for me. Um, and that's what you want. That's how you want to see it. Super excited about Henderson. I think uh, Caldwell did a great job retooling the defense and making it fast and athletic. And I'm excited to see um, what happens this year with the new defense with uh, Chase on Allen, Henderson, and um, Schobert, and you guys like that coming in. Hey, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me that y'all watched. Uh, make sure to like the channel, uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment for your thoughts and things like that. Um, check out the website. Give us your thoughts on that. And um, as always, go Jags.